Hi guys, I just wanted to share with you some tips to make sure that you're staying on track with your workout routines at home. And today we are going to talk about logging your workouts. So a lot of people log their food intake, they track their calories, their macros, all of that good stuff to make sure their diet is staying on point. But workouts are also something that are really important to log. Uh, you'll see trainers all the time, well not right now, but in the past, um, walking around with either clipboards or notebooks. And what we're doing is we're tracking our client's progress. So we program a workout that will be sufficient for our clients to reach their individual goals. And then most of the time we're gonna record down how much weight they're moving, how many reps they're completing sets, all of that stuff. And we use that as a benchmarker to progress forward to make sure that we're moving in the right direction, we're hitting the goals we need to in a sufficient amount of time, and making sure that we're not backtracking. This is something you should be utilizing on your own at home. You can get a notebook, print out a template, there's a bunch of them online, and just fill out your exercises that you're going to do. Write down how much weight you're using, how many reps, how many sets, or how much time you're using to complete each exercise if you're doing something like seeing how many burpees you can do in a minute or how fast your 500 meter row is, something of that nature to really make sure that you're progressing forward. Another way to log is to actually prioritize your workouts in your day. I have a big wall calendar I keep on my closet door and I write down every day at the beginning of the week what exercises or workouts rather I'm going to do for that week. So how I'll split up my week. Monday I might do more of a cardio focus, Tuesday I'll do upper body work, Wednesday lower body work, Thursday maybe some yoga, etc. However I want to spread out my week. Doing that keeps me accountable, okay? We don't have those coaches or trainers to meet one-on-one -on -one with right now or your friends that you meet at the gym. So make yourself accountable super important you're more likely to do it if you schedule it and set the time to do it another really important thing to make sure you're doing if you're trying to improve your fitness during this time which it is possible to do even though it seems like it's not totally is progressive overload progressive overload is when you're going to overload your muscle work what that means is you're increasing the number of reps you're completing, you're working for longer periods of time, you're using heavier weight, you're changing something so that your body has to change. If you don't give your body new obstacles, it's gonna stay where it is. You need to work harder to get stronger. That's the key to all of this. And you can do that from home, but the easiest way to make sure you're doing that is logging your workouts. Um, a lot of times we log our food. I do that as well to make sure that you're meeting your macronutrient goals, your calories, you're not eating too much, too little. You wanna make sure that you're not so hard on yourself right now. Give yourself a little bit of grace, but really try to at least maintain where you are. You will thank yourself later. It is possible to get healthier. I know it seems like it's not, but if you do tricks like tracking your food, your workouts, all of that stuff, you're gonna help yourself get into that right direction. By logging your workouts, I don't want you to just focus on the numbers. It's really easy to get tied up in just the quantitative aspects of a workout, but you also wanna write down how you felt. I know I perform better if I'm doing a workout that I enjoy. If you're doing something you don't like, if you're not a runner and you don't wanna run, don't run. If you wanna try it, try something new, go for it, but do something that you like to do. If you like to do it, you're more likely to stick with it and keep yourself accountable for completing your activity for that day. If I'm doing a workout that I really like, I might put a star next to that workout in my notebook and think, okay, if there's a day that I'm not really feeling it, I know I enjoy this workout, so I'm gonna do it because I know I'm gonna feel good afterwards. We work out so that we feel good. We look good after, you know, that's, that's a plus, but that's not all of it. 
We want to stay healthy physically, mentally, and emotionally. And during this time, staying active, getting those endorphins is really going to be the key. Okay? So write down your workouts, schedule them day by day, write down how you feel, your reps, your sets, your weights, your time, and write a positive message. Put something nice for yourself on there. If you really struggle to make that workout happen, but you did it, do the old kindergarten method. Put a sticker on that day that you did well. It sounds really juvenile, but when you look at that calendar or that notebook and you say, oh, I gave myself credit that day, that day, and that day, if you're having a bummer day, it might put you in a better mood and it might make you wanna work out again. So anything you can do that makes you feel positive about staying active, by all means do it. I hope this information helps you out and you continue to strive to be healthy, well, mentally, emotionally, physically, and you're staying in a good place, okay? Good luck, log your workouts, and stay healthy.